And happy Tuesday, everyone. We are live and welcome back to our weekly web series in the trenches with Watts Water Technologies. You have arrived at episode number four. A special thank you if you tuned into our previous episodes. And if you missed them for whatever reason, go back online on our social media platforms on YouTube and Facebook and check, check them out. If you're a newcomer to the trenches, here are the rules of the road. We promise 15 minutes of quick hitting industry information. We answer some commonly asked industry questions, highlight a good dose of Watts Water products and solutions, and we sprinkle in a fair amount of sarcasm to help get you through the day. And of course, after the broadcast, we will welcome any questions or comments. Uh, if your organization wants to do a deeper dive on any topic in our portfolio, these fine gentlemen assisting me here today are readily available for trainings and to offer support on any of your projects. Your task is to track the episode winners and losers, <coughs> Colin, and enter the names at the end of the season for a chance to choose some Watts branded summer swag just in time for the summer. It's really that simple, folks. All we ask for is for 15 minutes of your time and a chance to root for one of our contestants. And by the way, a little side note this week, if you know the answer to any of our questions, please feel free to type it into the chat box and get a little uh, banter going so these guys can continue to smack talk each other and talk about who's getting favoritism or not. And in fact, I encourage it. I might even prompt a few bonus points for such participation. So let's meet the returning guests. And here is our returning champion, Mr. Mark Parent. Say hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm glad to be here again. I look forward to the challenge. Um, a little intimidated this week. I hear Colin's got something up his sleeve, so let's see what that's all about. All right, I made a few words, Mr. Mark. And next, our friend from the Steel City of Pittsburgh, back again, Mr. Todd McCurdy. Say hello. Hey, everybody. Todd McCurdy, Steel City of Pittsburgh, as Gary mentioned. And I think what Colin has up his sleeve is uh, what we call desperation. Uh, he's the only one on this that uh, <laughs> is undefeated when it comes down to that victory category. So, uh, hey, let's keep a streak running. And an early 30 bonus points for Todd for sarcastic banter. Well done, sir. Thank you. And bringing up the rear, pun intended, last place defending champion, Mr. Colin Marshall. Well, thank you, Gary. I, Colin Marshall, Springfield, Missouri, the show me state. And I'm going to show you a winner tonight. That's all I got to say right there. <laughs> <laughs> bold words, bold words from a 0 and 3 contestant. But let's see what we can do. Uh, let's take a look at the Jeopardy board and see what our topics are today. Again, we're promising 15 minutes of quick hitting information and get you all on your way. We have tonight the science of art. Getting technical here. We have get connected. So that's probably referring to our Watch Smart and Connected platform, and then pipelines. Pipelines. All right. And this week's coin toss, lucky you, Colin, is Mr. Marshall. You get the first pick, sir. Okay, I'm going to follow Mark's strategy because he's my hero, and I have to, you know, look up to him. So I'm going to go pipelines for 300. Going big money early. Seems like uh, Groundhog Day here for you, Colin. Let's see if it pays off. Name three types of inline pipe solution to the protect a system from debris. And again, if you're in the audience, feel free to enter in if you feel you know the answer. Name three types of inline pipe solution to protect a system from debris, Colin. You know, last week, again, following Mark's lead, he was able to call a friend. And since I, I owe all my friends money, um, <laughs> I'm going to query the audience to help me on this one and uh -huh. see if there's any, any takers. So, the audience. I know I'm going to start off bold from the from the get go. Let's see what we have here. It's looking a little dry right now, Colin. Could you guess one of three? Do I owe them money too? That's Probably. always okay. I'm going to go ahead and, and take a stab at it. We have uh, Y strainers. Mm -hmm. Uh. We have Y strainers. I know we have Y strainers. If this was Family Feud, I would have, I would have buzzed the clock like an hour ago. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Y strainers. I know right. there's there's three, but that's the one I'm thinking of. 
I'm going to give you 100 points of the 300 since you did get that correct. That was Mueller Y strainers from our Mueller brand of products under the Watts portfolio. Second would be duplex, and third would be basket strainers. So we're looking for Mueller Y, duplex, and basket strainers. So I'll give you 100 just for being a good sport and trying to see something. I'm glad. A lot of people money. <laughs> Mr. Perry. You're very generous, Gary. I'm trying. Yes, I'm trying sir. to be nice this week. I'm going to go uh, go big from the beginning. Let's do the Art of Science for 300. Art of Science for 300. Going big. Oh, bang, and a daily double hits. Wow. Wow. And let's see what the question is here. Getting technical in the science of art and the uh, heating and cooling industry here. Name the three forms of heat transfer, sir. Three forms of heat transfer. What do you want to wager? So, yeah, I mean, you don't have anything, but you got the daily double out of the game. I don't have anything. Uh, how about the whole board? Can I wager the whole board? Just get this over? How about, how about 300? You get it, I'll give you 600. Is that fair? Perfect. I love it. All right. Um, that's pretty simple. It's conduction, convection, and radiation. All right. Say it one more time really fast. Conduction, convection, radiation. All right. I'm Easy gonna, for you to say. That's a full 600. <laughs> And a commanding lead for our two-time champion, Mr. Mark Parent, if you're keeping tabs at home. Mr. McCurry. And look, I'm going to do this again. Uh, look, Gary, back up for a minute. Again, just because I want, you know, some competition in this. Todd's been really competitive, and it's it's really been good. But, uh, Colin, look, I'm going to give you 100 points of mine tonight because I want you in the game, and you made a commitment at the beginning. So let's, uh, let me help you do that. All right, Thanks, uh, Mark. Hundred charitable points Welcome. from the Boston Tea Party. All right, <laughs> Mr. McCurdy. So I'm going to have to go with Get Connected for 300 just to be able to keep up with these two. I'll tell you what, four weeks in a row, you guys go big out of the gate. I, I respect it. Intellistations from our Powers line. Intellistations come with what communication feature? Now, Todd, this is your uh, bread and butter topic, so I'm expecting a uh, an outstanding. 100% correct answer here. That would be BACnet and Modbus protocols. I even pulled out the big word, protocols. Let's see if he's right. I know he's right, because that's his wheelhouse. Look at that. All right, 300 for you, Todd. And I'm going to give you an extra 100, because it was short and sweet. I love the brevity. Sweet. All right. And Colin, we're you're in last place, and we're here we, here we are again. Right. I like a challenge. Here we are again. Let's do get connected for 200. Let's see. Which SunTouch, again, another Watts brand, SunStat, our thermostat, is Wi Fi enabled? Very important Connect. for months. That one I know. Let's see. Let's see, Nick. There we go. SunStat Connect, that's right. Thermostat is on, usage, monitoring, and remote activation. It's actually very important in the summer months, helps reduce your energy bills, and is very popular. You might even have seen it on an episode of This Old House a couple weeks ago. We were uh, we actually had some Watts products on an episode of This Old House. All right, Colin, I'm very proud of you. That's 200. I like the attitude. I'll give you an extra 50. We'll round it out here. So you're at 450, and we'll we'll get you closer to the leading to the lead guys here. All right. Right. All right, Mr. Parent. Uh, well, since it's competitive tonight, thank you, Colin. Let's do uh, the science of art for 200. Science of art for 200. Okay. Again, another technical question. Circulators in series, double what? Circulators in series, double what? Um, head capacity. Can you ex can you In series, they increase... That? I knew you were going to ask that. So, yeah, in, in series, they uh, increase head capacity. And in parallel, it doubles the flow, if that makes sense. All right. And for our viewers of home, what is head capacity, Mark? Help me out here. Uh, Todd? Uh, he asked you. <laughs> <laughs> and a redirect for 200 for Todd McCurdy. Todd, take it, take it down. What do you got? <laughs> Uh, am I answering the head capacity or making my selection? It's a free 200 for you if you knock this one out. What is head capacity, sir? Head capacity. Um, 
I wouldn't be able to say it succinctly, so I'm going to sw- stick with an I don't know. Oh, my God. All right. I'm trying <laughs> to give you some bones there, man. All right, Todd. Yeah, Let's see what you got here, buddy. I'm going to go with pipelines for the 200. I could have gotten if I had answered succinctly your head capacity question. All right. Oh, that's a good one here. That's a Ryan chemical waste piping question. So what is Orion's waste pipe called? And I know Sam DePerna down at Florida is listening to this one. So what is Orion's waste pipe called? That would be blue line and brown line, one of which is flame retardant. Extra 100 if you know which one is flame retardant. Blue line. Oh, wait, mean an extra 100. It's Charitable Tuesday, Colin. Oh, man. I gave you 200 a while ago. I know it. I'm not going to gripe. I'm not going to gripe. All right. If it's brown, flush it down is the blue, is the brown line. So the brown line, blue line is flame retardant. Brown line is not. It doesn't have to be because it's underground. Very good. Todd McCurdy, an extra 100 bonus points for you. Thank you. You are now in the lead. Well, here we are again, Colin Mark. <laughs> uh, roll the dice. I am going to go with, uh, let's finish out where we started. Pipelines for 100. Let's see what we got here. Name the four main radiant pipe options. Radiant question. I know this one. I actually right. know this one. I hope so. Radiant Pex, Radiant Pert. Radiant Pex AL and Onyx. Outstanding. A full 100 points. And if you want to elaborate on the differences, I'll give you another 100. Uh, Pex is polyethylene crosslink plastic. PERT is a polyethylene raised temperature. Pex AL is a Pex with an integral aluminum barrier built into it. And then Onyx is our EPDM synthetic rubber. I'm going to add a zero to that, hundred. I'm going to give you a thousand points. That was excellent. Oh. Yes. I agree with stars align. I feel smarter after that uh, explanation. So I think a thousand is generous, but I feel smarter. He's in last place, Todd. Come on. All right, <laughs> Mr. Parent. Let's wrap it up uh, here. Let's do the science of art for hundred. Oh, good Lord. Going back to the uh, to the oh. dissertation days, what does this formula represent, Mr. Parent? First off, I want to know why that's only worth 100. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make the board, man. I'm just enforcing it here. I mean, come on. Colin, can you help me with this? This is the pressure drop through... A device. Okay, so I'm using you like call a friend, right. right? Gary, is that okay? No, it's not okay, but it's I'll, I'll be I'll allow it since Colin's got actually the correct answer. I agree with Colin. I agree with Colin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I agree with Colin. Turns into pressure drop through a valve. So Colin just got a thousand. So Mark, I'll give you the hundred, even though you had absolutely no idea what that meant. <laughs> And uh, furthermore, didn't don't know what a pressure drop is if you if you had to. So let's uh, let's identify that. But that does relate to our industry commonly asked questions. So absolutely, Mr. McCurdy. Hmm. Well, I where think, are you going to um... go? <laughs> <laughs> Which Techmar snow melt control is backnet enabled? With snow melt in the Watts family of brands so that all the northeastern and north central snow states, you can melt driveways and sidewalks, guard against people slipping and falling this way and that way. I think I'm going to take the Mark Parent route and uh, phone a friend, Colin. Colin. What are, you talk about <laughs> Generosity Tuesday. What the heck? <laughs> I appreciate it. I'll take it. We love I'll you, take man. It. Yeah. Um, that is going to be the 680. Techmar 680 snowmelt. All right. Let's see if he's right. 
A little hard to read there at home, folks, but the 680, that is correct. I award the points to Mr. McCurdy. Thank you for phoning the friend. But you can use the BACnet or Modbus for alert notifications, remote monitoring, and adjustment capability. So would you say, Colin, it is facility manager friendly and very helpful overall? That it is. All right. So, folks, a 1,000 points went to Colin Marshall this week. Write it down. Take a picture because he is this week's winner, and I don't know if we'll ever see it again. So I, I <laughs> encourage you to take a screenshot of these fine gentlemen, and especially Mr. Colin Marshall, our awesome, awesome design guy from the Midwest. Um, confidence. Confidence is high. Parting words from the trenches. How about you, Mr. Winner? Let's start with you this week. Parting words? Parting words, not partying words. Parting oh, words. Oh. Tuesday. Uh, you know, this was a good week. I like this. This was great. I learned a lot. I learned that I don't know strainers at all. All right. So you, got some, you got some homework to do on the strainers. And just a reminder, do you remember what the answer was? I'm sorry. I think we need to go to Todd. He's just inch, itching to uh, jump in here. Mueller, duplex, and basket strainers. Todd, parting words from you, sir. My parting words is... Colin, welcome to the land of the winners. Um, <laughs> it feels good to have some company uh, alongside me and Mark. I also want to give a shout out to Scott Carrington and Robert Terry, who um, were filling up the Q&A with some answers to uh, some of these questions. We love that audience participation and everything else and uh, greatly appreciate your input, fellas. So thank you. I'm going to tell you, Robert Terry and Scott Carrington hit it right on the head. Um, so we might have a separate thousand bonus points headed their way as well. Um, we also have a question from Scott Carrington. Does Colin win a scarf? Win a scarf? <laughs> <laughs> yes. The question is also dedicated to one who we all love, Mark, Mr. Mark Fails. Uh, um, uh, the key word of the day is scarf, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and awesome participation today in the Q&A. And Mr. Parents, any parting words from you, sir? Well, yeah. So, again, welcome to the club, Colin. I'm glad you were aboard with the team. Um, you know what? I, I was actually wanting Colin to win this week because I thought the grand prize was Mark Fail Scarf. But, you know, wear it proudly when you get it. Absolutely. <laughs> Don't lose it. Don't lose it. The whole company will find out. Folks. We really appreciate you hitting hard with us in the trenches for 15 minutes. Again, any of these fine gentlemen you want to reach out to, here is the contact information. We have a ton to bring to bear in the market in terms of capabilities and training. So if you want to get in the trenches with us anytime, please let us know. Um, really appreciate you tuning in. This is episode four, gentlemen. We've got a two, two, and one tie. Two, two, and one is the score, but we cannot tell you who's won each episode. You have to keep track at home. So go back again if you want to watch them on these social media platforms. We'd love to have you next week. That's yes. not right. Yes, Colin. I'm sorry. I can't be, you said two, two, and one on the winning? This is only have, the fourth episode. You must have had an audio uh, problem there. Two, one, and one. Excuse me. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what I Just making sure. All right. And I can giveth and taketh away a thousand points, Colin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes easy easy um but we'd love to see you next tuesday new time 4 30 thanks for tuning in folks hope you enjoyed it and uh we'll sign off from the trench team thanks team